Three, two. What's up, everybody? Welcome back. Welcome back to the Off the Menu podcast. This is episode 72 with your boy Moose, Moose. with my brothers, my co host Tay, hey. and P. P. All right. <laughs> P. <laughs> I meant to say that it was so positive. <laughs> And today, everybody, we got a very, very special guest. A special guest, Brandon, a.k.a. Brandon, realtor, DJ producer, jack of all trades, entrepreneur, big stepper, y'all. Give it up for Brandon, everybody. (laughs) I'm clocking out, man. That was great. (laughs) Was that better than mine? You guys tell us, please. I want to know that. I didn't realize when you do it, it feels long. Uh, Boo Boo's is 42 seconds. Yeah, Boo Boo's is, he his times time. that shit. His is time. I think he has a cue on his that says, <laughs> at 10 seconds, I need to say this. At this <laughs> at this certain time with a beat, I need to He's say like, this. Hold on. <laughs> <laughs> Gotta wait for the beat to drop. Because I think fairly, we're pretty fast speakers. Like even mm, Boo Boo's a really yeah. fast speaker, but I think because he has it presented in front of him, he can just like, all right, guys, this is what I need to match it up with this and how this is going to go. That's, that's the rapper in him, though. Uh, yeah. <laughs> He's the rapper. The MC. Yeah, dude. All right, let's get let's get something crazy. Oh, oh. I was gonna play crickets for you, but and most importantly, <laughs> CEO technical support in the there back. Sifu Ying. <laughs> <laughs> Yo, <laughs> if you see, ouch! Wild. Damn, she heard that. She heard I, that. I didn't do that. That was your husband. <laughs> I'm just kidding. I'm kidding. We just we had a fun weekend. She's my uh, director of photography. <laughs> you know, nice uh, DP. Yeah. yeah. That's what it is now. People are starting to recognize us a lot. So we kind of have like this uh, this thing out there that we're like willing to, we're down to go do things. So finally, mm-hmm. yeah. yeah. <laughs> I'm like, oh, sleepy, but <laughs> I'm, sleepy. Yeah. I'm not gonna lie, I took a nap before this. Oh, that's why you're lucky. Late. I wasn't late. Yeah, man, 645. If you're not, not early, you're late. Bro. You gotta be yeah, here at 645. Late. Everyone gotta be at 645. Man. And then I got the phone call about Uncle Sam. Yeah. Uncle Sam getting everyone right now. <laughs> yeah, I feel Give that. him some love, everybody. Give him some love, bro. He needs it. They right try to now. get my ass, man. Yeah. I ain't a big baller yet, okay? <laughs> Fuck. <laughs> Crickets. Yeah, dude. That's for your Uncle Sam topic right Uncle now. Sam. That's how they feel. That's how they it. feel about you. <laughs> it's like, get your money up, P. She got your funny up. <laughs> fucking trying, man. I'm fucking trying. Uh, All right, y'all. Uh, welcome back. Welcome back. This is episode 72 of the menu podcast. Like we said, our introduction here. We have a sp- very special guest, Brandon, realtor, DJ, producer, all the above. How are you doing today, Brandon? Yeah, I'm, I'm, I'm chilling. I'm excited. Thanks yeah. for having me. Of course. Thanks for coming, man. This has been long awaited. I think I met you a few months ago, huh? Yeah. Um, we can't come back to my house and Peter, Peter's um, yeah, he yeah. was like, mm-hmm. yo, you need to have Brandon on. And I was like, I'll get you on as soon as possible. And then boom, <laughs> we just thought <laughs> yeah. we steamrolled over like, yes, we were like, boom, 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 boom. And then holidays came. We didn't have enough. We, we just did one episode a week. Oh, shit, yeah. And then we got into the new year with, we were pretty much booked out. Yeah, they haven't been that, that long. Mm-hmm. Dang. Okay. Cool. Yeah, Gosh. that was my that yeah. was my mistake for booking too many people out like uh, too far ahead. I was literally, <laughs> I literally, we were literally booked out from the beginning of the year all the way until April. We're now May, April, May. We're booked out through May. Um, yeah. And to all the Thank guests you, that we will be bringing on, um, if you guys reach out to us DM, I'm probably I'm pretty sure I'm not seeing them right now because I don't usually open them. Um, but I will try my best to look at them and try to get to <laughs> as much possible, uh, m- much people as possible. Um, but let's go ahead and get to the episode. We're going to start it off right here. The question is, who are you and what do you do? Yeah, so uh, my name is Brandon. Um, I'm a real estate agent, DJ, producer, kind of jack of all trades, you know, um, just kind of a young and trying to make it big, you know, and uh-huh. hopefully see other people do the same thing. Yeah. How old, how old are you? Uh, I'm 21. Ah, oh, get the fuck out! <laughs> Are you really? Damn. Yeah, I'm 21, turning 22 Bro. this year. I want to kill myself. <laughs> <laughs> just kidding. Yo, just kidding. Shit. I didn't think he was that. I knew you were younger than us, but I didn't think you were. You how how? Well, when did you? When is your birthday? July 3rd, 2002. Coming up. Oh my! God. Two more months. Yeah. Yeah. What's up, 2002. 2002. Yeah, that's you, might be a, you might be our youngest guest yet. Uh, it's an honor. Really? Yeah. Uh, I don't think. Yeah. I haven't thought about it. Yeah, because most of the. 2002 is kind of crazy. <laughs> <laughs> for for us, I was 10. Uh, I was I like mean, seven. I was yeah. I was like yeah. See, that's like <laughs> I'm already a I'm a decade older than him. Oh shit! Yeah. Damn. 92. Damn, I'm old as fuck. <laughs> <laughs> old ass so fuck. tell us all your secrets. <laughs> <laughs> shit. You're not Man, really 21. Well, <laughs> at such a young age, you're doing so many things. You know, yeah. you're like you're 
you kind of have your own thing going on at London Bell. Yeah. Um, you do oh, yeah. the real estate, uh, realtor stuff. Like, how did you get into that so young? Uh, into which? R- real estate? Yeah, real or? estate first. Real estate? Okay, we'll start with that. Um, so I got into real estate. Um, it was during high school. I wasn't, like, sure exactly what I wanted to do. Uh-huh. Um, and there was a time where I was like, I just want to be rich, you know? And mm-hmm. I was fortunate enough to find out that 90% of millionaires make their money through real estate. So I was like... Okay, let me learn about this. Um, then I went to get my license, and yeah, that's kind of that's kind of where it started. Damn, that's crazy! Like in high school, that you was got like, your license straight in high school. High school? Like, uh, right after high school, right after um, probably yeah. But okay. at that time, I was also going to college and juggling mm. two other jobs at the same time. Mm. Um, okay, so you've always been about your money. Then, like that's the one yeah. thing that kind of influenced you to keep going. Yeah, no, absolutely. So like. Um, kind of a sad story, but like in, in general, like a lot of my family problems have stemmed from money. And I was like, I don't want that for my family. So let okay. me let me learn how to, how to get that bread, you know? Yeah. Yeah. That That's the, I think it's just the endless cycle of the world is like generational wealth is the one thing that from our generation, like 90s and 2000s that we keep thinking about because we want to break that cycle. Mm-hmm. Right. Yeah. And we like coming from a background of Asian American, like third generation, second generation immigrant yeah. parents or grandparents. It's like it's hard to see that anyone break that cycle because that cycle is just so strong, right? You know? yeah. We're we're so surrounded by that kind of stuff our whole lives. Like it's, I'm 31 and it's so, it's still hard to even think about like what we can do or how we can keep making money. There's so many ways to make money too right now, mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. and it's just like how motivated are you, right? And right, so absolutely. to hear that you were just like, you know, fresh out of high school. This That's, is this is recent. This is crazy because if you think about him fresh out of high school, it's only three years. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> so I'm making money. Yeah, and he's like, I'm gonna go and do this because mm-hmm. I know that this is how people are staying rich and this is how people are getting rich. You know, was mm-hmm. 2021. Yeah, yeah. Well, does so, it sound right? You were just right after 20, like around that time. That's when you started doing everything. Yeah, yeah. It was 2021, so it was like COVID time. Okay. Um, and so like my first semester in college, it was like mostly online. I had uh-huh. one in-person class with like eight people, and I was like, you know, this kind of this kind of fucking sucks. Yeah. <laughs> so, um, uh, yeah, no, I had a I had a lot of uh, interest in real estate. Um, funny enough, I didn't know what a real estate agent did. Um, I actually mm-hmm. almost gone to like this pyramid scheme where they teach you like real estate investing and, and shit. No, I yeah, and I was like, that shit's 20 grand, but I can get my license for like 500 bucks, you know? Mm-hmm. So I was like, let me learn about that. Um, get familiar with, with the industry that way. Yeah. Um, and I ended up loving it. I mean, that's why I've been doing for the last three years. So yeah, I was going to ask. So like, you didn't know what you want to do and you wanted to get to money, right? Which is real estate. Yeah. Mm-hmm. So you didn't really have a passion for it at first and then getting into it and learning all these things, mm-hmm. like is this something that you found to love? Yeah, 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 no, absolutely. One of, one of the things I love about real estate is they don't teach me just about real estate. They teach me a lot about like mindset and like mm-hmm. setting goals and like all this shit to kind of help me be a better person, right? Absolutely. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Okay, yeah, that makes yeah. sense. What, what have been some of the key points to like your trajectory of your growth? Like what are some like some advice that was given to you like, I really need to stick to this. Um, shit, that's a good question. <laughs> um, <laughs> we can even come back to it too. It's like I kind of just threw it out there. <laughs> yeah, no. W- one of the things I I learned um, pretty early on is is to to take things one step at a time. Mm-hmm. Um, there was a time where I had like a big picture where I was like, I'm gonna buy a bunch of real estate, be a millionaire, get mm-hmm. passive income, all this shit. Mm-hmm. Um, but I didn't focus on the things that I needed to right now to like have money to invest in shit. You know. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Yeah, like getting into real estate is one of the biggest things that we have a lot of people come in here and talk about mm-hmm. is like commercial real estate, house real estate. Like we even have my, my uncle, he uh, owns Tuk Tuk and he's mm-hmm. he, that's the one thing he was doing too. He was doing mortgage, mortgage loans. He was a loan officer okay. first yeah. and that's where he started building his capital into investing into homes and then now owning two restaurants now. Mm-hmm. And so it's kind of crazy to see how the gates can open when you get into something like a field like real estate. Yeah, yeah, no, mm-hmm. absolutely. Real estate has opened up so many doors to me. I mean, I I know a bunch of different business owners and they, they teach me a lot of things. You know, I, I try to view everybody in my life as kind of a mentor to me, you know, mm-hmm. so I, I take bits of, of advice from everybody. Yeah, that's really good because like when I was your age, though, I was not listening to nobody. <laughs> <laughs> like I'm gonna be like honest, you like listen I didn't. Nobody uh, now. Yeah, yeah, I'm listening. Hey, I'm, I'm listening kidding, to all I'm 72 kidding. guests that came onto the podcast every week. Okay, <laughs> we're learning now. Yeah. Okay, we're learning. And it's it's nice to feel like we're learning something because like mm-hmm. now I kind of know what he's talking about because I have family that does that stuff. I have a lot of family actually that does it. Mm-hmm. Yep. You mm-hmm. know, and it's it's a very interesting place to be at. And that's the one thing to keep telling you is like once you start making a little bit of money and you can afford to like do stuff like that that's where the direction you need to go to because that's mm-hmm. what that's what will break your cycle yeah. because we talk about all the time dude and like 
being at your age, when I was 21, I was not influenced or inspired to do anything with my life. I was mm. just like, I'm going to work a nine to five and get to that. And in the back of my mind, I always wanted to know like where I would be at in the future. And I didn't, I never thought 10 years ago I would be doing a podcast. <laughs> yeah. Right. It wasn't a thing, but it, it was like, thing, but still, yeah. I went, I didn't think I would, I didn't have, I was never that type of person to speak in front of other people. I had mm-hmm. 90% of the, like the U S has problems with public speaking. Yeah. Yeah. 100%, yeah. 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 Mm-hmm. And that's, no, that's really a statistic. Like it's really 90% yeah. of people cannot get on a microphone or get in front of a camera and learn and speak actually. Yeah. And, myself included. <laughs> <laughs> but it also us, it's you know, hard. it it's was at the hard, beginning, yeah. like we were just bantering mm-hmm. and that was like, if it started to become normal, you know, it was like, mm-hmm. yeah. Oh, we're just hanging out. And then we started, when we started having guests on the podcast, I was like, damn, how do I sound? Or how am I speaking to this person? How, you know, some people use really yeah. big words. I'm like, what, are, what are you saying? <laughs> what did you say? <laughs> but then I, as, you know, as we started doing this for like the last year, I gradually started to figure out like, oh, this is really easy to me. Mm-hmm. Like speaking is really easy because I did call center jobs my, most of my life. Mm-hmm. And yeah. then I just, I think that's what really helped me step up and be like, yo, I can do a podcast. Just puts on the headset. Yeah. Talks into the mic. He's yeah. like, it's just like old days. <laughs> Yeah, no, I was like, can, can I comment on that? Yeah, 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 yeah no, of it's, course. So it, it's crazy because because I, I was reading about that too, where where 90% of people, they, they don't learn how to like communicate, you know? Mm-hmm. Um, and it's crazy they don't teach us that in like school or whatever because that's what we do every day, yep. mm-hmm. you know? And so that's something, yeah. that was a big barrier for me when I first started real estate where I have to learn how to talk to people, mm-hmm. um, build that connection, like build mm-hmm. rapport and all that type of shit, you know? Mm-hmm. Yeah, that's a, that, it's crazy because like, when I go, I'm gonna go back to your age a lot because like I'm mm-hmm. just referring to how I was when I was your age and like, dude, being 21 and being able to break out of that cycle already, like learn how to public speak and learn how to mm-hmm. be around people. Like that's, yeah. I applaud you for being able to do that. You're so young already, you yeah. know, because a lot of people don't do that until yeah. like 25. That's why it surprised me because I was looking on your IG and you're mm-hmm. just like real, like right in front of the camera, yeah. getting the LV belt, bro. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. I was like, that's, that's how he gets that, That's also why I was like, fucking 21 and got an LV belt. This is crazy. <laughs> He used but, to work for LV. That's why. Oh, he appreciate yeah, 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 yeah. I got to appreciate it. I got to appreciate it. But uh, yeah, it's just kind of crazy for your, just to see that and, and know that you're just 21 because I was not like that at all. Yeah. yeah I mean, mm-hmm. even now, like uh, I have to put on a picture sometimes. You mm-hmm. know what I mean? Like I, I get uncomfortable, like very uncomfortable, very, very often. Mm-hmm. Um, but it's just like a matter of doing it more. And the more I do it, the slowly I start to get a little bit more comfortable. Absolutely. Yeah. yeah. How mm-hmm. How is your... Uh, like how has your experience evolved you into the person you're at now? Like how are you when you started doing the real estate stuff and how are you now? Um, I mean, well, when I first started, it, it was right after high school and, and ever uh, in the past, I was a very shy person. I still am a very shy person, but I, I think it's been able to help me build connections and meet more people, uh, which I think is kind of an essential to life. You know, I think yeah. life is is great having other people around it. So mm-hmm. um, my life has significantly changed from being around those people, right? Yeah. Mm-hmm. Um, I think relationships are have been very meaningful in my life That's recently. Good. Yeah. That's good. That That's, human experience. It mm-hmm. is. That is the biggest thing for us is that, you know, building human experience and like engagement really yeah. mm-hmm. over the last year has really helped us like, you know, get to know a lot of people. Mm-hmm. And Man, like lady was it uh, Friday? I went to go watch Miles Summers. Shout out to Miles Summers for Seven Wing Money, um, perform at the cafe, what Matcha Cafe Kyoto. <laughs> you, or we just talked cafe, about this before. Dude, like, it's, like, it's a tongue twister. Yeah, man. dude, it's because of the sign. <laughs> but is at the, the Matcha Cafe though, um, down in Sugar House. It was like it was cool to see like where his people are at. You know, like all his, the group showed up and like watched him just DJ. Oh, really? yeah. mm-hmm. And then I showed up just, I was just standing there alone, you know, just like minding my own business, <laughs> just watching him, you know? Mm-hmm. And I was like, man, it's actually really cool to like do things alone and like be out there because oh, like yeah. these are all people mm-hmm. that I've kind of built a relationship where we built a relationship with over, mm-hmm. you know, over time. So it was really cool. Like you've been able to do that through real estate. Just yeah, yeah, yeah. Absolutely. Did, did you say he was, he's DJing there? Yeah. yeah. So he, so shout out to Reginald, the man that owns that place. He, He's an amazing pillar of the community. He, he used to own Little Saigon down in Sugar House, a okay. little fall restaurant. Oh, no way. Yeah. Oh, sure. oh, and, snap. you know, okay. he, he was telling me his story. We're going to have him on, so I'm not going to tell too much of a story. But he was <laughs> telling me a story and he, the reason why he opened it up. And then I was like, bro, like, I would love this because that's what we're trying to do. We're trying to build mm-hmm. a community. We're trying to connect everyone in Utah or anyone that's coming to Utah and build this relationship with everyone, you know, mm-hmm. so people yeah, can yeah. do stuff together. Yeah. And, you know, I've, when he was telling me all this stuff, I was like, man, this is exactly where I want to be at. You know, mm-hmm. I want to do what he's doing. He's literally opened up his space to all these creatives so he can just have people come in and, like, 
it was popping on a Friday night, just a little matcha cafe, you mm. know, and it's not even yeah. that, it's like maybe 500 square feet. It's not that big. No. Yeah. And like he literally had people DJ, he bought pizza for everyone, he bought soda, oh, wow. and like Damn. you don't even have to go there and drink matcha. He literally bought this for people to come hang out. Pizza party. Nice. <laughs> you know, and like Maya was performing for two hours. It was mm, like, nice. it was dope though, you know, on a Friday night that they can get that many people out there. And when the Spirit Glocks, and there was a different uh, artist there too that presented yeah. their artwork, right? Yeah. Now. Um, yeah. Sa- oh, I forgot his name. Sam. His name is Sam. Yeah, he's fresh out of high school too. Oh, was he? Yeah, oh, shit. Ange- so I, I saw the name. It was like Angeletti or whatever. Yeah, mm-hmm. yeah, yeah. Shout sure. out to him though. But yeah, it's it's just a weird place we're at right now. We're trying to get connected with people, no matter what mm-hmm. the age is. Mm-hmm. Yeah, yeah, yeah. No, absolutely. I think I think that's very inspirational because because uh, I'm kind of the the same way where, um, I'm I'm going to yeah uh, DJing for a little bit. Um, that's kind of where I started. Is um, I've had a lot of these experiences, particularly at, at like raising concerts where I, I meet people and have conversations and. Uh-huh. Um, I, I kind of had the idea. I was like, I want to be able to do the same thing for people, you know? Mm-hmm. And so I, I started to learn how to DJ, throw some parties, and just, like, kind of have people connect and meet new, new people. Uh-huh. Yeah. Mm-hmm. What what got you? So that got you into it. And did you have any, like, influence before you started, and that's why you knew that you can go into that direction? Um, actually, no. I, I have zero background in music. Like, really? literally Damn. zero. Other than listening to it, zero background in music. That's all you really need to start, though, you know, yeah. is just be able to know what kind of music you like and that mm-hmm. that's what you can play. When did you start DJing? Um, I started around March of last year, if I remember correctly. Oh, that's still That's early. only a year. Oh, damn. Yeah, so about a year. And you're performing wow. at clubs now. That's cool. Like, that's, yeah, yeah, yeah. that's really dope. Yeah. Uh, um, To kind of go to that, I um the reason I was able to play at a club is because... Uh, I knew people there, so I knew the owner yeah, of, of the club, and so it's it's a lot about connections. And I actually met Absolutely. him um, at a rave, and <laughs> kind of went from there. Yeah. David Tran, yeah, yeah. dang, uh, that's shout out to David by the way. Pretty lucky, yeah. just running in a rave. Yeah, were you say like uh, kind of building your connections over time? Was it kind of difficult to do that like from the jump? Because you made a lot of traction within three years. Yeah, you've done a lot. Yeah, I mean. Um, where, everywhere I go, I try to meet people. Um, I, that's something I learned in real estate is every everything you do kind of have intent with it, you know? Mm-hmm. Yeah. And so absolutely. whenever I'm out at parties or just hanging out with friends or, or whatever, I try to go out of my way, get out of my comfort zone and uh-huh. meet new people because mm-hmm. you never know who you're going to meet. Yeah. True. It's true. It is very true. True that. I've definitely learned that over a lot the last year. Oh, God. <laughs> <laughs> it's, it's, it's like crazy to think like you really just have to look at someone and be like, Man, I don't know who this person is, but I'm going to get to know him, you know, right. and mm-hmm. I now I've literally opened up my arms to anyone that I can, you know, like <laughs> I literally walk up like, what's up, man? I'm Tay. <laughs> 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 but it's also nice, though, because now like we get recognized for like just the little things Like we don't ever expect to meet people. But it's like, no, yeah, I, uh, shout out to Club Mungo for having me there. <clears throat> I was there to shoot a highlight video. If you guys haven't checked it out, check it out. <laughs> I also did photography in the back with me and my wife. Tell um, and, you know, we would like to do more things like that, you know, mm-hmm. and it was just Absolutely. cool because after they performed, they were like sweating. They got off the stage. So they're walking out. And I was like yeah. walking out to, you know, catch some footage of them. And then um, people stopped me. I was like, oh, you're the guy from the podcast, right? Uh, off the menu. And I was like, dude, yes, I am. <laughs> <laughs> yes, I am. <laughs> but also on Friday night when I was at the matcha place, yeah. people were like, oh, yeah, dude, I've I seen you on the, like, they were talking about the episodes they watched and everything. Yeah. I was like, that's crazy. It's crazy yeah, to crazy. have that yeah. kind of outreach. Have you got that boost yet? Uh, he doesn't go anywhere. No, yeah, really you know. don't leave your house. Yeah. I be getting that too. I yeah. be on the events and those spots, and then I just talk to random people, and they grab me like, "Hey, hey, you're the guy from the podcast." Huh? <laughs> I was like, "Yeah, my oh. boy was on it." I said, "Yeah." He said, "I actually like it a lot." I said, "Thank you." <laughs> oh, wow, no, did, that's fucking dope. No, but yeah, yeah. But I get that more more often than not too now. Yeah, that's the only After, thing we're known mm. for now, though. <laughs> <laughs> you're the, which is kind of tight, but you're it's it's, it's amazing guy, huh? because it's opening up the doors to what we can be doing. Mm-hmm. You know, like mm-hmm. you know, I saw your rock clips on Sunday. You know, yeah, if we didn't yeah, have him on the yeah. podcast, like he was like, yo, what's up, family? Like he we're we're getting like that. And he's like, anything mm-hmm. you guys need, just let me know. And I was like, that's crazy because the doors are just literally just there. Thank you, E-Rock. We yeah. just need a boom. E-Rock. Shout out to E-Rock. <laughs> Shout out all the guests. Our one year's coming up. We got a very special thing coming up for you guys. Stay tuned for yeah. that. Our one year is next um, week, no? Dude, our one year is like, yeah, next week. Is it? <laughs> oh, oh my shit. gosh. That's so wild. Yeah. Episode like, like 74, 5. <laughs> so like five. We probably won't Same even five. talk about the one year, but we do have a, a special thing going on for our viewers and our guests. We'll be doing a little giveaway uh, for our oh. guests, and we'll be making mm-hmm. off the menu uh, oh. merch for our guests. Oh, Very special guests. Giving them too guests. much. Giving them too much. They're gonna. We've been DM all day. <laughs> know. They know. <laughs> That's true. Yeah, oh, we've been messaging merch. them. We're trying to get. We, like I said, we're trying to build this relationship here, and it's so crazy that you know everything that we're getting back. You know, like mm-hmm. all this. Absolutely, yeah. 
every, all this love we're still getting back from everyone from our first guest till now, Brandon. Yeah, you know, yeah we, absolutely. No, I, I love what you guys do. I mean, for, for a year now, that's a lot of dedication to put into it. So I respect the fuck out of that. Thank you. Oh, a year. <laughs> <laughs> and many more to come. Yeah, yeah, <laughs> Hopefully, you guys, keep it going. Yeah. Oh, yeah. Uh, we just got a documentary of how we're looking every week. Yeah. <laughs> Damn. Man. Um, so you got into the music stuff and like what what specific genres are you kind of into yourself and then what do you play? Yeah, no. So um, I love EDM, um, just kind of most genres, uh, subgenres of EDM, mm -hmm. uh, more particularly dubstep. It's a little bit harder and not for everybody, mm -hmm. which I understand. So when I'm at the club, I don't really play that. I play more like throwback EDM, um, mm -hmm. you know, like shit people know, you know, like clarity and, and whatnot, you know? <laughs> Dude, Brandon, which, sometimes you throwing that dub on though, don't lie. <laughs> <laughs> hey, yo, here, here and there, you know, yeah, for sure. I get it um, though. Yeah, no, I, I love to play EDM in general though. You yeah. know, I, I, I definitely have a connect to that and I've met a lot of friends through through like raves and EDM so so. Yeah, dude, give me a spot. Give me a spot there so I can do a K-pop night. <laughs> hey, you know, I, I might be able to do that. <laughs> yeah, yeah. We do a little back-to-back -back or talk, something. I can talk to David, too. Yeah. I don't, I don't want to DJ. Yeah, I was going to say. It's a lot of pressure. Yeah. I, actually, I can play some fire-ass K-pop shit. No, yeah. I can, I can. I London Bell, though, you have to get up that fucking... Yeah. <laughs> get a helicopter or something. <laughs> Bring me in. Who's that little like ladder that, that you have to yeah, climb up? Yeah, that shit crazy. I yeah, yeah. And I just like, I just don't, I couldn't see you doing that. Not saying you can't, it's just so small. Yeah. <laughs> no, because I see that you're, you're, what you're working with is crazy. Like you have an overview of everything, but yeah. then when you, I think you had shared it on your story where you were at. I was mm. like, that's a small space. Bro, it's, yeah. it's pretty <laughs> it's fucking small. It's, it's a small space and like, I'm short. And so like, Nobody can see me from down there. <laughs> so you're like, I could just do whatever the hell I want, man. I mean, there, there was this one time I brought a stool. So that, <laughs> so I'd be I like saw that. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> that's, that's, uh, I was like, I, I need to be mm. in the videos, you know? <laughs> <laughs> I'm right here. I'm right. And funny. how did the that relationship start when you're doing your thing at London Bell? Um... You know, honestly, I don't remember. I was I was probably low key fucked up when I met him. <laughs> oh um, yeah, that's the way to be sometimes. <laughs> <laughs> but yeah, no, I um, I mean, I've had I've had good conversations with David. You mm -hmm. know, um, he's a cool guy. I know a lot of the people that work there. So mm -hmm. yeah, it's helped me meet new people and yeah, it's yeah, fun. Yeah, it's crazy where you can just connect in random places though. Mm -hmm. Like the fact that you were just at a rave and then you met the guy that owns this place and now you're there that, once a month. That so, lives in the same state as you too. On top yeah, of that. on <laughs> top of that, you know. Mm -hmm. And yeah. it's it's pretty crazy where you can kind of just meet certain people, you know. Yeah, yeah, absolutely. Yeah. yeah. Um. So you're doing the music stuff now. You're DJing. Are you making your own music? Yeah. So I I just started making my own music. Uh, honestly, I don't know the fuck I'm doing. Um. And I kind of just oh, piece good. it together, but. Um, I have a couple of songs released out on Spotify, a um, couple more on, on SoundCloud. But um, yeah, it's kind of kind of like a side project for me right now. Absolutely. Because um, real estate is my main thing. But a lot of people know me as a DJ, which I think is kind of funny. Yeah, yeah, um, yeah. Kind of like how people go up to you and, and like, hey, you're from the podcast. They're like, hey, you're, you're, the, you're the DJ. You're like, you're the guy in real estate. <laughs> and it's crazy because like a lot of these people I haven't met, you know? Yeah. yeah. Mm -hmm. um, I'm like, damn. Yeah. Dude, I'm a man of many hats, though, just so you guys know. <laughs> Make sure you guys There's don't get that. There's more to him. Uh, yeah, I'm still Tay. <laughs> I'm not the podcast guy. I have a name, guys. <laughs> yeah, no, that's I feel how, that. Yeah. That's, how, that's how I be feeling. <laughs> hey, man. my name is Paris. Pleasure yeah. to meet you, brother. He's like, oh, you're not for the podcast. If, like, if that's it. If they're a real fan, and if they're a real fan, if they really watch, then they'll know when they come up to me like, hey, you're Batman, right? <laughs> <laughs> hey, if you guys yeah, ever yeah, see sir. Moose in public, don't call him, call him Robin. Oh God! Or, Night, or Nightwing? No, there's no time. The Nightwing's too cool. <laughs> That's what he's going at. That's what he's fucking getting at. Yeah, yeah, yeah. He's still Robin. He's not even Teen Titans Robin. He's like after Shut that. Up, <laughs> I don't even know what you're talking See, about. Shit is ridiculous. Shit. That's why he's gonna be funny in public if you guys ever see him. It's like, hey, Robin. Ah, uh, fuck you. Man. Yeah. It's like, ah, oh, like, you did watch that episode. You, uh, you said, <laughs> Thank you for watching. Now, fucking <laughs> get out of here. So what do you do for your free time? I know, so you can kind of do a lot and you're like into the music and into the real estate. What do you do as leisure? Um, well, for leisure, I think it's it's one is making music and mixing mm -hmm. music. You know, that's something I was fortunate to actually enjoy quite a bit. Mm -hmm. And so I, I spend my time doing that. Um, it is kind of hard to find free time, though, but I like hanging out with homies. You know, whenever I get the chance to, you know, go to events, um, that's kind of my, my main thing. Yeah. So you're, you're always shouting out Space T. Um, yeah. Yeah. 
What relationship do you have with that? Yeah, so uh, my cousin, he's the owner of Space T, mm-hmm. and so oh, it's okay. essentially a family business. Mm-hmm. Um, I do work there part time mm-hmm. here and there, you know, to h- kind of help out with the family. Mm-hmm. And also, I do have plans of opening another location at some point. Mm-hmm. And so, just trying to learn the ins and outs of that. Um, but yo, uh, you should get my my cousin Don on. He's a uh, he, I have so much fucking respect for him. I mean, so he he runs the business. He works in the business. He's also a teacher as well. Wow. Um, oh, no way. Wait, yeah. Don, uh... Don Lee. He's, okay. Kelly's, he's Kelly's brother. Brother, yeah. Yeah. Oh, he's uh, the owner. He's the older brother, yeah. But he's the owner. I went to school with him. Or, or yeah, yeah, yeah. Crazy. Yeah, yeah. you went with, with Don? Yeah, I went to school with Kelly and Don. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. Wow. Yeah. yeah. That's the weird connections, right? Yeah. You just never know who you're I just reading. didn't know. Dude, I yeah. did not know I went to school with Kelly, dude. Oh, uh, at all? <laughs> Wait, had no. Oh idea. yeah, your cousin Kelly, right? Yeah, okay, yeah, yeah. I was gonna be no, like, bro, had no idea I went to school with him. He graduated the same year as Aleem, uh-huh. and I was hanging out with Aleem. Yeah, <laughs> I didn't even know Brittany. I, I knew Brittany went to our school, but like I hardly saw them. Yeah, it was just weird. Was yeah, weird man, thing. you were too busy hooping. I was <laughs> and fuck hooping, really. Yeah, I guess. <laughs> I guess this is the only reason why I didn't see him because whenever P is talking to somebody, he's like, oh yeah. <laughs> oh, bro, not yeah, even talking like, to him really yeah. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Okay. I get it yeah so it seems like you're kind of well, like getting connected or having connected with certain people like I'm, hey I'm down to have him on just have him connect with us here on mm-hmm. the on our Instagram let him know um, but so is, you're trying to open up a second location now is you trying to open up with him or is it like uh, we're, we're, we're still in the progress of that yeah. so we're kind of figuring out details yeah um, but yeah no um, I love Space T obviously <laughs> um and I love what they do. So there, there's this thing they do, a small business Sunday. Uh, once a month, they have a bunch of, like, small businesses come together. They set up, like, vendors and, and stuff. And people just, like, sell their products. Oh, oh that's cool. Yeah. Man, get us yeah. in there to do a live podcast. That'd be fun. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> That'd be cool. Damn, We've been bro. wanting to do shit like that. Yeah, but I want so to nuts. go. I, hey, man, I don't know if people are scared of us. Like, invite us to things. Let us know. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, I'll, I'll yeah, yeah, yeah dude. <laughs> yeah, so, yeah, yeah, yeah. I'm like, we're so scary. Yeah. <laughs> You guys kind of are. Are you we scary? Guys? <laughs> you guys. Are we scary? I don't know. But That's people, a compliment. People, people do say I'm intimidating our, our BF, so I yeah. guess so. And well, you're a 6'2", and you're looking down on people most of the time, so and it's I kind of yeah, tattoos. Yeah. <laughs> I look like a thug, apparently. You did walk in look like you did rob someone. But then you told us about your Uncle Sam, and I was like, okay. I got robbed. Okay, robbed. I didn't rob. I got robbed. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Reverse robbery. Okay, <laughs> okay hey, it. just give us some love, guys. <laughs> down in the comments below. <laughs> Um, so what other ventures do you plan on getting into? So you do the real estate and like, what's your next goal? Um, right now, I think my, my next goal is to start playing, uh, producing more music. Okay. Um, I want to be able to get to clubs outside of London Bell, which of course yeah. I, I love London Bell. Mm, right. Yeah, yeah. Um, but I want to be able to play more specifically like my music. Yeah. Um, and London Bell is more like a normal club. Yeah. Yeah. Sense, so right? a little everything then. Yeah, and so I want to be able to play more specifically EDM. So I'm working on trying to get to like Sky or like Soundwell. Ooh, um, that'd be tough. Yeah. Which, uh, fortunately, I know people over at B2 Presents. Um, nice. But I'm just working on kind of fine tuning my my music right now. Yeah, of course. Mm-hmm. Yeah. To have perfecting your craft so you can kind of get into where you want to be at. Right. Yeah. Yeah. Absolutely. Okay. Um, and then I have been like making merch. Um, I've had mm. a lot of people like come up to me and ask for merch. That's cool. Um, which I'm not sure how much like realistically I'd be able to sell from that because this is like it's me, you know. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> like I'm not famous or anything, you know. So. Hey um, man, you never know where you start. You never know until yeah, you yeah, start, yeah. right? Yeah. No, I I see you guys have the the more about nothing clothing yeah. brand, right? Uh-huh. Mm-hmm. Um, we should collab on that. Hey, let Ooh, us know. Down, yeah. Hey. Yeah. He's we'll figure it out. Hey, hey. hey. <laughs> That's he got excited. He got That's excited. excited. <laughs> Talk to him. Well. Once again, it's us like reaching out to people and actually collaborating with them, you know? Jason, hey. Hey, that's how I'm you say it. I know. That's why I thought that's it was why. funny. I, yeah, I thought it was funny. I had that's to do why. my best pee. <laughs> <laughs> that's how he does it. Hey. 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 <laughs> that'd, be, that'd be fire. No, it, honestly, yeah. like we can even sit down after this. You can tell us Absolutely. where you're kind of out of your direction of your, like where Absolutely. your brand is. Mm-hmm. We can kind of put some guidelines to it. And then, um, yeah, we'll. We'll literally sit here after and literally come up with some stuff for you. Yeah, you know? yeah absolutely. Let's talk some about sauce. that. Hey, man, I, sauce. you guys know I'm, I sit with people twice, three times a week to talk about their brands. You know, oh, and like, yeah, that's what's up. I'm just trying to make sure everyone's doing something with their brand or like trying to help them build it. Like I don't mm-hmm. I don't do the best shit or I'm not out there, but I know a lot about the clothing business. Mm-hmm. That's the one thing I can help you with is the business side of it. Okay. Yeah, yeah my designs may be whack, but that's why we have him. <laughs> 
Actually, but they're not whack. I have it right here. My brain barrier. In the brain, in the brain yeah. In the brain, the brain, the way I'm drawing my brain is <laughs> yeah, perfect. It's crazy. It's when, crazy. when I draw it out on paper, I'm just like, why did I draw that? Yeah, like, you I catch agree. me in the restaurant drawing in a napkin, that's my best type of art. <laughs> it's a guy who doesn't even charge for counseling on this trip, so get on it right now. Yeah, get on me now while I'm doing it for free. Because <laughs> once I start doing it, I'm going to start charging. Mm. Yeah, Shit, yeah. You, need, you need to hook me up with some merch. Yeah, hey, we'll get you right after. <laughs> hey, I'm going to start doing that. <laughs> hey, hey, hey. Just for this episode. Oh my God. Dude, that's your, like, that's that's your DJ should. intro. <laughs> <laughs> that's your hey. DJ intro. Hey, hey. Tay. I have to. Hey, hey. it's Tay. Hey, it's Tay. <laughs> it's just P's voice, though. <laughs> hey, it's Tay. That's I intro. can see it now. Yeah. You're my young Metro yeah, yeah. tagline. Hey, it's Tay. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> that's how I'm going to put it in here. <laughs> That's amazing. That's so uh, good. Yeah. Uh, so you wanted to start making clothes and like for your brand, right? Mm-hmm. I think that's the best way to go out about it. It's mm-hmm. like your humans are a walking billboard. Right. Yeah, right? Yeah, and yeah. like people mm-hmm. walking around. Yeah. It's, it's amazing how far you can get with just like friends and family just wearing your stuff, you know, and mm-hmm. like people mm-hmm. are starting to recognize that. It's like, oh, yeah, I recognize that brand. Mm-hmm. So it's a really cool like thing that you want to do. And yeah. you don't just make little small runs first, you know, yeah, yeah, 10, yeah. 15 shirts, and then it's you'll get to fun. that. It's it is fun. It's yeah. fun. Yeah, I, I feel like it's such a low barrier of entry for sure. Yeah. You know, yeah. so it's easy to get into. And we know all the right people now. Shout out to Kobe. <laughs> Shout out to Kobe. Freaking disruptive. Eh? Yeah. We're in right now. Yeah, dude. It's, yeah. It's, you know what's mm-hmm. crazy too is that we started sending people his way. I'm not going to say who, but you know, we can talk about it a little after. And they, <laughs> they actually started going through him to make clothes. Also, and they've yeah. never even made clothes before, mm-hmm. and, or they have before, mm-hmm. long like a long time ago. Yeah. But now is like they have a place they can go to for sure. It's crazy. He's the best man. Yeah. Best. So shout out to Kobe, man. Shout out to once again all you guys. We're getting closer to our one year, and I'm like working <laughs> on this little project right now, and I'm trying to like put this shit together. <laughs> and I'm like sitting there going down memory lane, mm-hmm. you know. And it's like from the first episode till now, it's, it's like he's, he's digging up clips, dude. <laughs> He's my face, shit up. my face is brand new. Yeah. I don't know who I am anymore. Yeah, I was looking <laughs> back at the videos. I was like, "Holy shit, he slim!" <laughs> <laughs> Damn, look at him. Yeah. He's like, "Whoa, I'm yeah. Batman." Dude, when, no, when I saw that picture, bro, I was like, "It was, it was fucking a shock." I was like, "I knew you." Yeah, <laughs> I was here. I was in that picture. Yeah, it's crazy because nobody like really recognized it until like I lost. Well, a lot of it, yeah. you know, because they were gradually just doing it, and then boom, right when I got to where I was at, it was like, whoa, holy shit. Oh, yeah, Tay was just like this. <laughs> now it's more, yeah. now it's more like this. Yeah. <laughs> it's just hands tucked in shirt. <laughs> yeah, my hands fit in my shirt now, so. <laughs> <laughs> I, I was going to ask, uh, Brandon, t- to say if you were, if your DJing did pop off, right? Mm-hmm. Um, obviously, you have real estate in the back pocket. Yeah. But you would, I wouldn't say you would drop everything, but you would necessarily drop everything to go DJ essentially. And then obviously if you build up capital, it obviously makes sense to real estate. But I'm saying that like you would chase that dream, right? Or, um, I mean, absolutely. I mean, if, if I had the opportunity to make it big in music, you know, okay. I'd, I'd definitely put more time to do it. Um, but I would always have real estate in the back of my pocket because um, one, it was, real estate is something I, I really love to do. Um, mm-hmm. I, I think that that's somewhere where I have purpose in life. Nice, um, okay. hmm. being able to help somebody buy or sell a home mm-hmm. um, can be beneficial in, ma- in many different ways, you yeah. know, depending on mm-hmm. the person. I, th- I think that being able to create that experience and, and be there with them along the way is very meaningful to me, you okay. know? So that's yeah. something I'd always be wanting to, to do. That'd be crazy. Yeah, dude. <laughs> DJ, fly out DJ, during yeah. the morning he's and then drive and fly out to Vegas at <laughs> night to go do Zook or something. Yeah. Like, <laughs> No. Had, to sell a house the next yeah. day it's crazy he's yeah. like alright that, no, that, that's sometimes like what happens for a lot of like um, DJs that are up and coming you know mm-hmm. they still do their 9 to 5 and yeah. then they fly out to where they need to at night and just show up there and then mm-hmm. they go back home and then it's like well this is such a crazy lifestyle to like even think about yeah I know, I know that that's that's absolutely a, a dream for me sure, for sure mm-hmm. I mean, I, I have big dreams, but I'm definitely trying to take it step by step. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Mm-hmm. Absolutely. But one day you be you see me at EDC, so. Hey, man. Hey, well, I was gonna ask, is that would that be like the number one show you'd want to play? Yeah, I mean, I, I I've had a lot of experiences at EDC. I've been there mm-hmm. three years, and that's definitely something that that's a big goal for sure. Are you going this yeah. year? I'm not. Mm. I'm not, unfortunately. <laughs> this year, I was supposed to have a really good lineup, right? This lineup is crazy. Yeah. Oh, yeah, yeah, I had a lot of lineup. It's a brand new setup. This lineup is crazy. My mm-hmm. first year. Oh man. Oh man. I'm still having FOMO from freaking Tyler, Tyler the Creator, Tyler dude. Creator. I'm so mad. We were sitting on the couch and then, <laughs> when, he flew, when he flew out of the RV, I was like, <laughs> ah, I miss this. <laughs> you know, and it's like because we, we go to we try to go to as many festivals as we can. So we, yeah. we did EC for like mm-hmm. three years. 
Mm-hmm. And we got into our Coachella phase. We're like we did Coachella pretty much every year except for COVID. Mm-hmm. And then um, now it was like this year. I was like, oh, we don't need to go. The lineup's like the lineup was good to me, but it wasn't good to a lot of our friends, right? And that's the yeah. biggest thing. Is like if mm-hmm. you want to you want to go hang out and be in a group of friends that mm-hmm. you you just kick it for a yeah. weekend, you know? Yeah, and I listen to the music together. Too. The lineup was amazing. Lineup but was pretty good. Headliners weren't the best. Tyler was the best. Tyler, Tyler. yeah, yeah, Tyler. I would, yeah, that, that's all you need. You to go brought for, out man. Tyler's Gambino. <laughs> yeah. running out of time, dude. Yeah. Come on, running out of time. I was like, wait. What, what is that shadow right there that he's talking to? And it's like Shadows Gambino singing. I was like, yeah. that's so sick. And then he announced his album coming out. Gambino? Gambino? Yeah, Gambino? yeah hey. he, has, he said he's going to break it up in the singles for well, a couple there was, of X. There was a clip um, of him rapping. That yeah. He found live, yeah. Yep. This might yeah. be the last one. This, uh, we'll see what happens. This might be. All these, all, every rapper, every musician Dra- says Drake, the last one. Drake said that was his last album. See what happens. But now he Drake can't. <laughs> now he can't. Yeah. <laughs> Yeah, so, so you have good. like ambitions and goals to try and get to EDC, and do you know how you're gonna get there? Like, what's gonna, how are you gonna build up this reputation around yourself? Yeah, I, I mean, like I said, I kind of, I'm, I'm trying to focus more on the, on the little steps, and so I'm just learning more about how to produce better music and like yeah. how to mix it down properly and, and all that mm-hmm. type of stuff. I mean, I'm, I'm like barely, like very beginner in terms of making music. Mm-hmm. You know, like I said, I have no background in music. I don't know what the fuck all these like vocabulary words are, you know? Mm-hmm. Yeah. Uh, <laughs> so, yeah, I mean, I could barely use the software at this point. So, <laughs> <laughs> we're going to have to get you to sit down with some of the producers that we've had on the show. Yeah, yeah. No, Dude. absolutely. That, that'd be these, amazing. Music is a science I don't get. It, it's, like, uh, it's complicated. Yeah, it's it is science very complicated. I wish I understood yeah. too. Yeah. yeah. I, I wish I could get my Pharrell on, but there's no way. I look at that stuff and I'm like, this. I'm a great listener. Just give me some loops, bro. <laughs> yeah. I got you on the loops, man. <laughs> we'll get you on the iPad and show Brandon what you can do. <laughs> it's kind of crazy what he can do with an iPad. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Novation Launchpad, man. We're going to get them to sponsor us, bro. I'm getting that shit free. <laughs> I pay for it. I pay for it, y'all. You pay Probably. for it? Yeah, because I want all the beats. Okay. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah. Maddie yeah. hates it. I'm like, you want to make me, to, uh, you want me to make you a beat? It's like I was gonna pay for Serato, and I'm like, I only DJ like once a month. <laughs> it's just like there's no reason to do it. And we started DJing like randomly during meetings. <laughs> yeah, we, uh, we had to get that cut off. <laughs> it's too fun, man. It's too fun. Yeah, but I think it's really cool that you have like ambitions for like not even just your real estate, but your little side stuff. That you're mm-hmm. kind of like, you know, your hobbies that you're kind of like making into a passion mm-hmm. that we're gonna get you to places where you want to be at. Like, you know, everyone kind of has. <clears throat> I go, every time I go to Coachella, I'm like, man, I wonder if I can make music. Then I know I can't make music, so I'm not going to be able to go to Coachella, but you have a way to get to where you want to be at. Right, yeah, no, absolutely. Like, I, I have a, a lot of amb- ambition with, with music in particular, and, and not just music. Um, so Brandon, uh, my stage name, which is also just my name, but with a, with a V instead of an A, um, by the way. <laughs> the V is um, for Vietnam. Yeah, V is for <laughs> Vietnam. <laughs> <laughs> He said it. That would be crazy. Hey, we just, hold on. We, no. came up, we just came up with something for you. Yeah, yeah hold dude, on. I fucking love that. Yeah. No. <laughs> He's like, what? No, we'll design something that for you. Wasn't why, What's the meaning of you? Because <laughs> he's inspired means- by somebody. Who are you inspired by, Brandon? Fuck everybody, bro. But I'm saying, <laughs> why, why? Why do you have the V? Oh, for sudden death. There we go. Sudden okay. death. Yeah. <laughs> I'm not a culture man with this uh, new kid stuff. But I knew why he had that. So he just had a yeah. Right. Sudden, yeah. de- Sudden death is d- dubstep. Is that yeah, it is? dubstep mm-hmm. is like dark, evil, heavy like shit, and, and metal uh, type shit, huh? Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. And mm-hmm. I actually get a lot of influence in, w- from him, not just like with his music, but what he does. So, um, I, I think that being at a festival or just like being at, at sp- specific shows, there's a lot more to just the music. There's like the audio visual experience yeah. with like yeah, the absolutely. visuals, and like he kind of does a lot of things like very theatrically, mm-hmm. where he's like blown fire on stage or like. He's levitated on stage and all this type of yeah. shit. Chris like, Angel? David. <laughs> <laughs> Chris That's Angel. Crazy. He has Chris Angel under him. <laughs> <laughs> but Jeez. yeah. That's crazy. Okay, go ahead. Yeah, yeah, no. Um, so, so I get a lot of influence from, from him. And um, in my bigger picture, I kind of want to do the same thing. You know, he has his own festival where he has like the really dark evil theme with like skulls everywhere and you know, I like um, that shit, that demon shit. I love, yeah. I love skull. <laughs> shit, bro. Which I'm, I'm not a Satanist, by the way. <laughs> <laughs> you just like the way it looks. <laughs> yeah, I just like the way it looks. You I think, think that's cool. cool. There's yeah, a, there, cool. Okay, guys, there's satanic and then there's goth. Okay, it's okay to be goth. Yeah, yeah. exactly. Yeah. Yeah, he's more on the golf side. Okay, cool. like punk. Thank you guys uh, for clearing that up. Yeah, man. <laughs> <laughs> I don't want you guys to go to his next show and then it's like Satan this out. <laughs> he's like, we're here for Brandon. <laughs> <laughs> He in the corner. Hey, we're here for Brandon. <laughs> hey, it's Brandon. Where we heard he is goth. <laughs> That's crazy. Um, 
Man, I forgot what I was going to say. Cause <laughs> <laughs> hey. um, so you, you're talking about this DJ that you're influenced by, producer, right? And mm-hmm. he has all this kind of stuff. Is that something that you kind of want to get into as well? Like the illusion part of it or like the projection part of like your shows? Yeah, absolutely. I, I mean, I want to make it more than just music, you know? Yeah, yeah. Uh, I want to make a whole ass like show and experience, you know? Mm-hmm. Um, I mean, I have some ideas in my ha- head, but I haven't got, qu- haven't quite got to that point. Of course. So mm-hmm. I'm not trying to focus too much on that right yeah. now. Yeah. Yeah. Once it comes, though, it, it will just be like, okay, it's, it, it comes so pretty cool. simple. But I'm, so curi- cool. I'm curious to ask, like, if you had some crazy, like the centerpiece of the show, uh-huh. like, what would you think you would want? During performance, he's like the devil. <laughs> <laughs> he's like, but guys, <laughs> but I'm not saying this. I'm not saying this. <laughs> Shit, um, I, I feel like I'd have a lot of like anime theme stuff. Um, nice, kind of yeah. pulled from different animes or kind of like make my own creation in the sense mm-hmm. yeah. where it's it's unique to me and that people kind of familiarize me with that. You know? Yeah, yeah. Okay, I'm gonna throw something crazy out there. Create your perfect <laughs> anime main character. Dang. Using other characters. Using other characters. Fuck. Um, it's your ghost body, bro. <laughs> <laughs> hey, 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 man, that guy's fucking beautiful. <laughs> yeah, 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 like something like that. Yeah. Okay. <laughs> so I, my, my, my I, I think like my perfect character would be um, Saitama from One Punch Man. <laughs> hey, okay. for that. So, yeah. so for that. in in terms of appearance, you know, just a very like low key person. <laughs> nice. The um, default. Just yeah, a default just a, yeah, look. Yeah, yeah. just That's a default Brandon. look. Brandon. <laughs> <laughs> um, but in terms of like the background, I think it'd be cool to have something like, um, pretty s- typical, but like Sasuke, where he has like really uh, like deep mm, background it, to it. You uh, know what I mean? I You're it. starting to sound a little dark now. <laughs> <laughs> His hair slowly starts to come down. <laughs> Damn, the wings come out. Yeah. So Sasuke, Saitama, Saitama. I think that I can see what you were putting down. That's yeah, <laughs> oh, I like that. Down, yeah. Saitama yeah. as the main character right in the middle. So you're an anime <laughs> fan. I am an anime yeah. fan. Uh, what yeah. are your like? Uh, what are your favorites? My favorite, um, it's pretty basic, but uh, I would say Naruto, more particularly Naruto Shippuden. Okay, um, I, I just, I, I, I like Sasuke a lot in particular, and mm-hmm. it, it, Itachi, and just kind of like the Uchiha clan. Okay. Um, it's so hard not to like those guys. Every time in my yeah. head, I'm like, no, nah, I'm a Naruto person, and I'm like, they're so cool. I'm like Sasuke's pretty dope. Though. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, no, I have the curse mark mm-hmm. tatted on my back. Oh, tight. he got one too. Yeah. So, um. But yeah, no, I, I that, that's one of the animes I like. Uh, Jujutsu Kaisen is really good. Uh-huh. Um, Demon Slayer, just kind of all the mainstream. I, shit going I on got right it. <laughs> I have been late to all these. Aside from, you're not gonna watch them anyways. I might, I might watch Jujutsu Kaisen. That looks tight. I haven't watched anime in like three years. It's just hard. Dude. I haven't I don't watched know. the anime before this too. Yeah, yeah. But I the, love the, the characters <laughs> look so sick, bro. I love there was yeah, a point in yeah. time I was watching so much anime at one time, and then for some reason I just stopped watching it. Yeah, me too. I that was 100. Um, yeah, yeah. K dramas on Netflix started coming out, and I just got really sucked in. Just became a mm. film guy, man. Yeah, mm, that too. You've, you've well, after um, after Naruto ended, I was like, I'm taking a little break because I would watch back to back. Like when I finish one or I'm on track with one, it would just keep going, and I decided to just take a break, and I just never started up. Do again. you have a favorite arc in Naruto? Yeah. Uh, in the OG Naruto, is like the Sasuke rescue team. That shit was tight. Mm-hmm. It was a little slow here and there, but it was like, dude, the oh, fights it was, were it so was really sick. slow. F- <laughs> yeah, especially watching Toonami, like how I was <laughs> for a little bit. I was like, yeah, it's so long, but that was that. And then Shippuden, shoot, sure, man, pain. Pain, pain was Arcus. sick. Pain pain was was so oh, good. dude, that I, was the yeah. toughest one. <laughs> yeah. That one, yeah, yeah. You, I almost said the Jiraiya. Great Ninja War, but shoot, no, yeah, yeah you're Jiraiya right. Off and Naruto just pulls up. Jiraiya dies. Yep. Fuck. Not eat like his arm ripped off and shit. Oh my god! Naruto one v so fucking fours. A spoiler mm-hmm. alert, by the way, for those that haven't watched it. <laughs> if you haven't seen it, go. You're missing. Go watch a, a music Dude. video version of it. <laughs> Naruto throws a rhino, bro. Like shit's crazy. Go watch uh, the Lincoln Park num version of it. You'll see the whole fight scene. AMV. There. Yeah, AMV. Oh, yeah. Everything for you. I miss AMVs. That's what you need to do. We'll do. We'll do an AMV for Brandon. Exactly. You know what AMVs are. No, I'm not. Anime music videos. Anime. They used oh. to be a big thing in 2000 when Net- yeah. when when YouTube first came out. Yeah, yeah, yeah. It was Actually, a lot yeah, of yeah, Linkin yeah. Park. <laughs> I had that show on my MySpace. Yeah. A lot of Linkin Park. Yeah, that's where it was. It was funny. Yeah, I was the other day. It was like, remember the first time you heard Linkin Park? And I was like, damn, I do remember. The, actually, the first day, somewhere where I belong, I was in my mm. uh, grandma's uh, basement in the bathroom, and my uncle's playing his CD. And mm. I was like, what is this music? Like, what is this music? Like, I wasn't listening to Linkin Park at the time. No. And I was like, Man, so I stole his CD. <laughs> <laughs> it sounds so cool. Yeah, it's so cool. Then so I saw the music video and I was mm-hmm. like, oh my God, oh, this music cooler. video is fire. <laughs> I 
I don't remember when. I think my cousin had bought the CD because my cousin would just come home with CDs and then would be like, oh, yeah, let's listen to it. I was at my neighbor's yeah. house when I first heard Lincoln Park. Yeah, see? see yeah. People can remember. Mm-hmm. Yeah. He was like, yeah. Oh, man. So you're into the music. You're doing all this stuff. Um, Like, how do you stay composed, like, being able to juggle all this kind of stuff? I don't. <laughs> <laughs> That's a good I answer. Don't, bro. <laughs> Let me like, um, <laughs> I don't. Yeah. <laughs> He's like, that's what's going on most said, of the time. Do I look composed? <laughs> <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. It's a good chef. Special, no, I mean, man. like, <laughs> fuck. Realistically, it's, it's really hard to juggle a lot of things. Uh-huh. You know, I mean, yeah. um, there's there's a lot of times where I'm just like sitting there. I'm like, fuck. I want to give up. You know what I mean? Of course. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Um, but I I think what helps me stay in line is I try to think of the big picture and course, mm-hmm. just be like. You know, I, I, I know where I, I want to get to. It's just a matter of time, you know? Mm, so yeah, yeah. I try not to, like, pressure myself too much. There, there is a time where I, I put so much pressure on myself, and I was, like, yeah. really depressed, and I was like, I can't do this shit. Mm-hmm. And so I was like, you know, I need I need to take a chill pill and just kind of like, relax and take it slow. Yeah. yeah. That's Understand. a good reminder to have, to Understand what you have. Yeah. yeah. Like, take a step back one. sometimes, because, mm-hmm. like, when you're walking too fast, sometimes you're going to trip. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> Yeah, real a statement. A that's times. a real statement, guys. <laughs> hey, man. It's a real statement. And he knows about it. tripping, I'll tell yeah. you. What. <laughs> yeah, dude, oh, I can't. Dude. Coachella, <laughs> me and Coachella are just the worst, dude. You never know. You're going to come over and he's going to be limping again. I'm like, yeah. again? Yeah. Bro, I just know. Got glass ankles, dude. Fuck. Basketball's... F- Basketball screwed me up. Hey, well, you're telling me. I yeah, got dude, stepped I watched too. you. I, got step- I took a practice shot. This guy took a practice shot. I rolled his ankle Roll from He was out for two Boom. weeks. Dunzo. <laughs> Damn. Dunzo. Be like me, guys. Play sports maybe once a year. <laughs> Be maybe. like him. Play Wii Sports. At home. <laughs> We're safe. With Harvey. Yeah. That shit is tight. <laughs> Harvey makes it tight, bro. <laughs> he loves that shit. But well, no. yeah. No, it's kind of, it's, I asked that because like we, when, you're in a, when you're in the world of doing too much, Mm-hmm. It's always like to know what you kind of like where you're at with life, right? And so how you right. stay composed and like what you do need to do to stay back, yeah. like step back. Yeah. Mm-hmm. And that's actually like that's what how people, most of us, like creative, stay composed is like we got to step back, look at the bigger picture, and then go running again at it and then step mm-hmm. back. Yeah. You know? Yeah. Also, re- like try to remember like you're at your own pace. You know what I mean? Yes, like sir. never compare your, yourself to other people. Absolutely. Like, yeah, either we're ahead of me or whatever, mm-hmm. you know? Absolutely. Yeah. Um, go at your own pace, you know? It's your life. Yeah. 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 You, yeah. De- you decide. I always like when I'm like over here thinking about like how fast we should be moving and how we need we, where we need to be at. Then it's like Oprah Winfrey started at thirty something. I'm like, and you know those videos. Yeah. Like, oh, yeah, yeah, I go yeah. back Steve, and watch those. Steve Jobs is at forty one. <laughs> yeah, you know it's Fucking like Usain Laurent was at forty <coughs> thirty five. I'm like, okay, freaking Yoji was like. 50s, yeah. 60s. And yeah. Takashi fucking Murakami, fucking 40. Yeah. And Takashi 6'9. He was like, All right. <laughs> <laughs> he was like 21. <laughs> that, guy's, that guy's a busker. <laughs> 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 you were listening to him. Hey, man. I was not hey, that choice, was a bro. crazy time in music, though. It's it was. So it was like, was, uh, you were, what was that, 2016, 2017? Mm-hmm. Like, dude, we played his music all the time. That's terrible. And then we, <laughs> hey, just before he was snitching, though, you know? <laughs> I, just, hey, I, I think that was prime rap era. <laughs> oh, <laughs> oh, 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 hold on. Really? Uh, <laughs> <laughs> uh, give me, give me a quick eight. Give us <laughs> prime rap era. <laughs> <laughs> Shit, about to have a rap beef in the room. Like, Shit, yeah, dude, we, there's too much rap beef going on. I can't keep up. You just said prime uh, era. It was a. Bro, it was I'm a, gonna get so much hate for that. Yeah, you might, but that's why you're uh, EDM DJ. So don't get me. <laughs> hey, wait, hold on. I, he's going two thousands. I, I wanted to explain. What do you love about that era? I don't know. It's just like. I don't know. It's just kind of goofy, you know. Uh, I mean, like, uh, what artists, like, it's, like this shit? I fuck with that. What What do you? What artists come to mind when you think of a prime rap era? Then? Like Twenty One, ah. uh, Kodak, ah, Denzel. Okay, I give you that. I give you those. I no, it was, those. A, that was some real names. Hey, Kendrick, honestly, you know? it was yeah. it was a really fun time. Yeah. Kodak was going crazy. Twenty sixteen yeah, yeah. and like t- through twenty nineteen, it was a fun Uzi, time. Playboy, in music. Playboy Cardi, Yachty did that Yachty, Big Bang freestyle. Yeah. We can always if we go back yeah, and play that. Yeah, that was fun, you know. People were having fun. I think that's what it is. Is that little Dicky was throwing out some crazy freestyle. It was just a different yeah. sound that came out. Right. Yeah. Sure. That came out. It's true. True. Migos true. and shit were getting popping too. Dude, mm-hmm. if I go yeah. back, uh, the only thing I could really listen to is that 2016 XXL uh, freestyle. Hey, that, 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 was, <laughs> that shit's so that fire. I love that. Code, yeah. Like, 21. Exactly. Yeah. I don't remember the last good one since that one. But then. <laughs> it wasn't even good. <laughs> <laughs> that was but fun it's just for like, me. It was, it's fun. Yeah, That's yeah, the thing. Yeah, is yeah, that yeah. When you go back and look at that music at that time, it was fun. We you said know? big yeah. boat a lot. <coughs> We're like, little boat. Little boat. Little boat. <laughs> That's one of my favorite artists right now. So. 
Yeah, man. They're killing the concrete boys. Is fucking concrete boys. That, so. Their last project. I'm a cash grabber. You're an ass kisser. You didn't you know? even know who Chet Baker was, dude. <laughs> Hello. See, exactly. That's what I mean, folks. Look him up. <laughs> I'm on the other side of the coin here, guys. I'm yeah. Who the fuck is Chet Baker? You're, Chet Baker? You're the part of the coin when it falls into a crack and it just stays there. <laughs> yeah, it's fucking you're not tight, heads right? or tails. Yeah, yeah. You're just like, Who's Chet that's Baker? a perfect way. He's a, he's a jazz player. He's one of the best. <laughs> I don't like him when he sings that much, but I oh, like some Oh, jazz songs. player. Yeah, jazz. I, thought you were about to say, I thought he meant jazz player. I was in the jazz. <laughs> <laughs> He was a jazz musician. He's like 1972. Yeah, on the spot. I got scared. I was like, jazz player. What the jazz musician? My bad. Okay. What, yes. the, what was the instruments he played? Jeez, he plays freaking piano and sings. Okay. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. Thank you. Not He's basketball, great. right? Not no. basketball. Okay. <laughs> He's confused over here. <laughs> Next time, clear it up when you say. My that. bad, dude. He put me on the spot. He scared yeah. me. He came out of nowhere. You. Yeah. Yeah. You came See? out. You're like, what does he play? I'm like, <laughs> jazz player. <laughs> He's like, he's hooping. Starting Uh, at center, (laughs) Chet Baker, number 34. But Tay, you had a big, like, uh, objection. What is your, like, prime era rap? Um, Dude, it's like 2000s. 2000s? 2000s. Like, what in specific? Dude, like 2000s? Come on, dude. No, just, ran the dudes, like, if we talk about, like, 2000 through mm. 2010, and like, Wayne. dude, you had Wayne, you had 50 Cent, you had yeah. the, like, Kanye, dude. That's obviously mm, my favorite time yeah, of music yeah. because I'm a big Late Kanye 2000s, fan, dude. Yeah. 2000s. Yeah. yeah, no, but 2002, yeah. you know, and 2000, no, no. Well, 2000, yeah, yeah, yeah. I can't shows. remember how long ago those were. Graduation so was 2007? So yeah. Yeah, okay. But see, graduation yeah. is my favorite project, but also That's you had saying. All Fall Down come out in 2004. Mm-hmm. Four, yeah. You know, and it was yeah, like yeah. before he was already coming out with stuff with, yeah, with Jay-Z. Yeah, like, if you go back and like think about Does MTV BET off? days, oh, yeah. Pharrell, yeah. you know, yeah. Like, yeah. Yeah, a lot, yeah, of, the, exactly. a lot yeah. of the people that had the influence Neptunes? on the yeah. new yeah. generation yeah. of music yeah. come yeah. from 2000s. Yeah. Yeah. But then also, I was listening to a lot of underground, like Son of Ram. He's from like this Filipino rapper from like San Francisco, you know, and I was like listening to like all this you know, gang star still. I was really listening to all this mm, stuff in the 2000s man. because I was yeah. too young in the 90s. Actually, in the 90s, I was listening to a lot of gangster rap because of my family. Mm. Boom, 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 boom. That was a lot of uh, adult, <laughs> adult contemporary. Easy and listening. That's going again. He was born 2002. <laughs> <laughs> oh shit! So you have to yeah, like he, okay, he, 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 yeah, he, was a, yeah. he didn't know what the fuck that was. So <laughs> honestly, for him, <laughs> back. for him at that age too, that could uh, have been prime rap because yeah. I was I was ten through like whatever. Fits, yeah. I was all my teenage years were yeah. through that. Mm. Right, because 2010 was for me. Yeah. I got Mac Miller, Childish Gambino, yeah. Drake, Kendrick, and Drake also Paul. I listened yeah. to all that stuff too. I loved mm-hmm. the backpack era rap. You know that was for amazing. Sure. The mixtape like era that was the one I like connected Wale, with the most. Yeah. yeah, backpack rap for sure. Yeah, after that, just kind of got a little messy from there. Well, you just messy. It looked yeah. messy. You I didn't know got, the, you just got older and didn't know how to keep up. Keep up. <laughs> <laughs> There's so much music, bro. Keep that's up. What, that's what I'm keep saying. up. Yeah. It is hard to keep up with. Yeah, yeah, it is. Mm-hmm. I'm not, yeah, it is a lot, but that's why I was just like Because you went back to what you liked. Just listen to the Batman soundtrack, guys. <laughs> or Hans or Hans Zimmer. Hans Zimmer. Yeah, that's there great you go. shit. What are some like other uh music artists that you like that are like outside of EDM? Um, so primarily rap. I mean, that, that, that yeah. rap and hip hop is, is what I listened to before I got into idiom. So mm. I listened to like Travis, Kendrick, J. Cole, mm. um, Lil Baby, the Baby. How do you feel about this beef going on? Then? <laughs> and how do you feel about the? You know, I, I, honestly, I, I don't keep up with that shit. <laughs> really, <laughs> I'm like, okay. I got I got too much shit going yeah. on to like really care about that. That makes me so happy. Wait, yeah. wait, <laughs> <laughs> Parishes. Because people like, care. That's the thing that it's like right now. They don't now, care about your beef. <laughs> Dude, I really don't care about the beef. Well, yeah, that's no, also I just why, want better music. Yeah. Like, social media <laughs> Which we're hard, getting man. a lot of good music, though. We are. We are getting a lot, right? But yeah. that's what people want. They want the skews. Right? Yeah. But then, like, I'm just getting so sick. People feel so strongly, and then it makes me feel so strongly. <laughs> and then mm. we're like, I'm like, you know what? Go I'm going to stand go by ch- Go check on those, and then like, go look at my comments sometimes. I'm standing for both, but I'm just like <laughs> commenting at different times uh-huh. just to have like negative feedback from both sides. <laughs> you're going back you're, I'm 50 cent in right now I'm That's instigating crazy. everything I'll That's be like crazy. Drake sucks and then they'll be like all the Drake stands and they'll be like Metro and them all suck that shit was trash but I'm like bumping fucking type shit all day <laughs> yeah bro this shit I don't know why I care so much. I don't even listen to this stuff anymore. <laughs> <laughs> it's just fun, dude. Mm-hmm. Like, that's all, it is. When's it the last is. time you had something like going on music like that, you know? Some like, beef. Oh, I can know it's just a part of rap music, right? Yeah. It's a, yeah. Like, it's a part of it's music part of in the general. It's part of the cultural, mm-hmm. or culture. Uh, well, you yeah. know, you never freaking Paramore Drop dissing it, somebody. 50. Dude, <laughs> hey, man. Paramore is part of the Tyler beef. What? <laughs> yeah, you didn't. when Tyler was, Fresco was coming up, oh, he was like, yeah, 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 okay. He was Paramore. talking about Haley Williams, remember? <laughs> I'm going to fucking crash that plane in. <laughs> yeah, Tyler was talking about that. And everyone felt a different type of way about his music mm-hmm. because he was saying some crazy shit. 
He was always wild, guys. I was the devil shit. Yeah, he was. Yeah. <laughs> I was. You know what's funny? I was listening to Bastard on the way here, and that's one of his <laughs> darkest. <laughs> song, that's one of his darkest yeah. songs. Low ball. Oh, yeah, I can't listen to Crazy Tyler no more. No, I love it. <laughs> I love it. That's actually yeah. one of the first songs I was. Dude, like, VHS fuck, is, is fucking crazy. Mm, I mean, I have to go back. I don't know. The first I go back is this Cherry Bomb right now, which is amazing too. Yeah, that was amazing. You want to go, go back to Wolf? Uh, sometimes, but if I if I were to choose, like I just go back to that. Like Cherry, Cherry Bomb, Bomb is when he started Flower doing the singing Boy. stuff. Yeah. You know, yeah. Flower Boy. Wolf uh-huh. was crazy. Wolf was yeah, crazy. yeah, but it was like an era for me. Oh. Like when that first came out, I was on it all when the time. You were, but when you're emo yeah. goth kid, huh? Uh, when I was nerdy. This is when he was in the woods. Moose in the woods. I was not always like this, guys. Now I wear all black. And I want to be gone. Well, you were a B-boy. <laughs> I was going to say. Yeah. I was, I was, uh, <laughs> you're a cool. really colorful B-boy. I was very... <laughs> was you, I? You used to wear this maroon shirt all the time. Oh, my... <laughs> <laughs> you know exactly. Was, I, I fucking love that color, bro. <laughs> exactly. back, in that, back in that time, I fuck, I fuck with that color so hard. I know you too well, man. Oh, shit, did you ever break dance? Yeah, he did. Bro. He that did. was yeah. my shit. So <laughs> I'm not like... Uh, I was never into sports. And actually, really anything aside from like cartoons and shit. Mm. But then it was like in uh, in high school, me and the boys would just break dance all the time. That was like yeah. our practice. Like we would practice after school, like every day on the weekends, do the jams. Mm-hmm. When the jams were just like super popping back when we were teenagers. So gotcha. it was fun. Nice. Yeah. I, I was a gamer in high school. Oh, what'd you play? <laughs> Fortnite. Uh-huh. <laughs> he, once, he again, once again. Once <laughs> again. Boy, up in I played a lot of Fortnite <laughs> no, too. No, but so. like, because yeah. he said high school, and I'm like, yeah, we all played Fortnite. Yeah. All I'm like, I'm Fortnite. 25 on the couch playing Fortnite. <laughs> that's what, that's what I, what I was. Fortnite. I was 18, yeah, yeah. 19 playing Fortnite. I never yeah, touched no. Fortnite, but I know it's like crap. You hated it. Uh, you hated it because we had all our meetings and I'd be playing Fortnite. Oh, yeah, 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 that's right, that's right. So get off the fucking game. <laughs> yeah, get off the uh, games. He's like, play a fighting game so I can sit with you. It's like, this game's lame. I don't know. I was. A, I just could. It didn't tickle my fancy. No, bro. you just don't like playing games against people. You I like do playing sometimes. by yourself. I really <laughs> love one player games. Yeah. But yeah. I'm not opposed. Like Monster Hunter, I'm gonna jump on when that's back on PS5. I'm, I'm jumping on. No, it's online. I mean, but you play with. You're not fighting against friends like people. Oh yeah, we team up. Exactly. I'm fighting against the monster, bro. <laughs> yeah. I don't know. I, I like cooperation too. Yeah. Okay. Okay. Yeah, but I. You are right, I guess. Competitive <laughs> games a little bit, but depends on the game. This is your sensitive. He just delusion. likes ob- no, objective well, you guys, games. You guys haven't seen me play Boomerang Foo. You guys know what that shit is? No clue. I don't want to. So you like, you're on, it's on Switch. Only for like 15 bucks. You guys see it's freaking amazing. But you throw boomerangs at each other and you're like fruits and food and you just chuck boomerangs at each other. Uh, guys, I don't like the silence. Right now. It's, <laughs> the, it's an amazing hey. game. Hey, <laughs> <laughs> is that what you wanted? I hate y'all, man. What hey. the fuck? Hey. Well, well, I'm well, trying to imagine this game. Why it's so fun? And I'm I like, know. I'm putting it in my head like, <laughs> dude. So you're just throwing. Fucking, <laughs> but it's like okay, fruit ninja. It's like my fruit ninja. <laughs> so it's pretty much like fruit ninja. It could be. A, it could be like a three on three, what, and then five? you guys are just throwing throwing boomerangs at each other, cutting each other in half. Uh, I promise you. It'll ruffle some feathers, okay? <laughs> Russell from Failers. Ah, jeez, you guys get, are so frustrating. Get good at Pokemon <laughs> Puzzle. That one will get you going. Pokemon Puzzle? Oh, dude, fuck you. No, I already know that you're good at that game. <laughs> I'm not playing that game. Everybody's good at that game, and I can't get good because everybody's so That's good. That's wrong because not everyone is good at that game. Oh, my cousins and my sister. Everyone's, every time someone tells me someone's good at this game, they bring them to this house. They just lose some meaning or some try. That's why I don't play against you. Yeah, it's crazy. <sighs> it's crazy how like bad people really are when then they people think mm-hmm. they're good. It's I'm like, not saying I'm great, but I'm saying I'm in like the five percent that's really good. It's like oh, and that's like me with that's Fortnite. Great. Yeah. Oh, that's that's you. Are you that good at Fortnite? <laughs> well, yeah, no, actually me me and my cousin Kelly, we used to play like a bunch of local. He used tournaments. to play with Kelly too. Yeah? Yeah. He oh would, shit. Kelly we, was, he, Kelly was he, nice. he would actually carry us. Kelly was nice. Yeah. yeah, yeah, yeah. But he, was, he was playing on PC at the time. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Or, or you mean on Xbox? X, no. He started off on Xbox and then w- he switched over to PC. And that's why I play on. And we'd play tournaments, mm-hmm. kind of like semi pro. Because when I was playing mm-hmm. with him, he was playing on PC. I think he had rarely transitioned or something. Gotcha, yeah. 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 Mm-hmm. <clears throat> but no, he would carry us. It would be me, him, and Aleem. And I'd be like, who's this guy? And then we're like, hey, Tay, it's Kelly. Shout out Kelly. Shout out Kelly. Kelly's hilarious. <laughs> I just don't know when I don't see him cooked. <laughs> <laughs> he always looks cooked. Bro. <laughs> okay, for somebody that doesn't play the game, right? Like, I I just want to know, like, why do you guys love the game? Like, you guys, um, dude, years? I'm competitive first mm-hmm. of all, mm-hmm. and okay. I'm not. I'm that's like when you're really good at games, you don't want to keep playing games, right? Mm-hmm. I was really bad at the game. 
Mm. But it was it, during that time, it was like a lot of the homies were playing, and it was just so fun to play. Mm-hmm. Right. You know, and that mm. that's the biggest thing is that when you it's, can play uh, with homies, it's like playing with your friends. Mm-hmm. Okay. Yeah, that's I all I want to do. Yeah, yeah. Like I stopped playing two K because mm-hmm. I was beating everyone. Nobody wanted to play Tay. Yeah, I never had the <laughs> chance to play Tay actually. Dude, I was just beating everyone. I played. One I was time. beating people by fifty. <laughs> Oh, that was shit. Like a, but you're playing Tommy and Johnny. And no, shit. I'm playing like actual people that play. Oh, okay. I had like, <laughs> like David, like, David, you see him. Yeah. He's playing that all well, day. He plays by Chris. Different from mm-hmm. quick play. It's but, different than quick play. Mm-hmm. It is. You should be really good then. Because <laughs> uh, that mean? means you're hyper focused on one player. Yeah, but it's like, uh, it's different, man. It's different. I'm a team guy, okay? It's different. I'm I good. agree with you. Yeah, I, I'm, good. Good. I'm not yeah, saying yeah. I was that good at 2K either, but like me and boys, we ran that shit. I should do too. That's all we, but it's all we do every weekend. Every week, mm-hmm. actually, we would host tournaments like in-house tournaments, oh, ten dollar buy-in. Yeah. Like I would, yeah. I won a few of them. Do that shit too, yeah. Oh, for Fortnite? No, 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 no. <laughs> I, was like, I would never do an in-house tournament for Fortnite. <laughs> I was about to say, I was like, how many? How? I could, I was so excited when they did no build. Now I didn't have to freaking play against a like a mansion every time I was playing. <laughs> I see, I'm, I'm totally lost. Like the building on the freaking so the bit whole plane. the whole port of the Fortnite is because you can build around you mm-hmm. a fort, right? Yeah. I was ass at that. Uh-huh. Like I built a ramp, a wall, and that's I peeked over it. You know, that's how that's the extent of how good I was. was but like, then there were people that can on PC or whatever, like they would build a tower. Yeah. In the time you built those. one thing. Yeah. So those. that's why yeah. that's why I wasn't good at the game. And they were quick. But when it came down mm-hmm. to aiming, I was perfect. I was perfectly fine. Cause I played a lot of mm-hmm. Call of Duty. So when it transitioned to where they had a no build mode, I was like, I can do this. And I I was mm-hmm. actually doing really good. Yeah, I'm actually like quite the opposite where I'm like the, the, the building part is what I loved about Fortnite because I felt mm. like every shooter was kind of the same. You know, you just kind of aim, shoot. Yeah. You know? And so building kind of added a different aspect to that. So that's why I liked about it. Yeah. But I don't play anymore. <laughs> You're too busy now. Time. You're not play, busy. You don't play games at all anymore, huh? Not really, no. Yeah. Fuck. So you you <laughs> no can play time. Elden Ring. <laughs> That shit is amazing, guys. Oh, my no, God. No, yeah. we. Yeah. I watched everyone in Discord play that good. for three months, okay? Don't worry. No, that game is good. It's so good. <coughs> we know I'm, it's good. I'm playing again. Update coming out on June, so <laughs> get ready. Yeah. No, we're in a Discord of gamers all day, so we kind of see where it's at. So, see, you guys, are, I'm just disconnected. Yeah, so. yeah, me too, man. I'm I, like, I, I use my gaming PC to read emails, you know. So, <laughs> <laughs> hey, that's tight. <laughs> I, I, I would love to be at that point, too. Uh-huh. Yeah. <laughs> I'm over here just um, editing videos, reels, and stuff. But I also see that's the thing about it's nice to have TFT because it's a, it's also brain dead of a game, mm-hmm. but it's also like you got to be really focused. But I can yeah. kind of like, I can kind of do a lot at one time. I hate mm-hmm. that game right now. Yeah, but that's what I kind of use video games for. Just like I just need to like knock some heads and then just get back at it again. Yeah, it's a good stress reliever. Like I'll go yeah. right now after this, I'm gonna play TFT and edit this podcast, <laughs> and that takes me about thirty minutes to do. That's one game. I want to play my time going. I want to play Elden Ring so bad. <laughs> okay. <laughs> He's like, oh, I need to hurry and go home and play this already. Um, but yeah, so like we usually have a segment here. Um, it's called our mm-hmm. chef special and it's mm-hmm. just free advice or, you know, anything that you've taken in life and you like to give to people or since you do cook. See, that's what I was hoping you would say because oh. on your free time, you do cook oh, a lot. I do cook. Yeah, so you should, be, you <laughs> no, should be talking about that. About that. Yeah, actually, I'd be seeing, I'd be let's talk about he, he be getting I down. I'd be seeing his post too. So let's yeah, go ahead. Yeah, let's yeah, go. Yeah, actually, yeah, before we on. end the podcast, let's get into that because okay. I also yeah, yeah, like yeah. to cook, but I like yeah. seeing that you you do a lot of extraordinary stuff from just your home. He's making like Okay, like some shaking beef. Yeah, shaking <laughs> beef. <laughs> Being beef. <laughs> Inside joke, you guys don't know, but Boo Boo's illiterate. <laughs> um, so, like, how long have you? How long have you like been cooking? And then, like, w- why do you cook the things that you do? Um, so I, I I've been cooking. I mean, not like great food for. I mean, a good portion of my my life. Um, I I cook the things I cook one because I like it. And two, I know like what I'm putting into my food and whatnot, but I don't know. Um, I used to I used to work in a restaurant for mm, mm. a good part of my life. I mean, like probably like five, six years of my life working in restaurants. So I kind of like, like see, seeing school. them cook. Yeah, high mm-hmm. school. Um, and so yeah, no, I I try to make my own recipes. And so I watch like a bunch of YouTube videos. I use ChatGPT a lot, and I kind of just craft my own recipe based off. That's like my ChatGPT will cook. Wow, a recipe. Dude, ChatGPT will do that. anything. They'll cook bro. a recipe for you. Yeah, that's, that's crazy. Yeah, yeah, ChatGPT. That's too advanced for me. That robot <laughs> don't even know what it tastes like. Sometimes, you cook like, up. it's so crazy. Like sometimes you can give it a command, and then I'll be like, mm, "What about something like this?" And then they'll be like, "They'll do it again." Like that thing is robust. It's yeah. insane. I mean, I, I I love AI. I mean, I use AI on a daily basis. Mm-hmm. Um something cool with like in terms of cooking if like you have specific ingredients in your fridge 
you just uh-huh. like tell Chat Ch- GPT like I have this in my in my Get fridge. What, what, what can I cook? That's so cool. Yeah. <laughs> Damn, dude. That was crazy because I just stir fry everything if I just have it. <laughs> <laughs> just have the yeah, walk is sounds yeah. like my mother. Yeah. <laughs> well, it's like eventually you just had like a bunch mm-hmm. of stuff sitting around. It's like I can stir fry that. Right, it's just meat and vegetables usually. Yeah. I know that's like it's a good go to, but sometimes I'm like, how can I make a soup with like oats and oats. orange juice that I have? What? <laughs> that's that's how horrible. That's just a cereal bowl. <laughs> They're like, it's like drink the orange juice. Chat will be oh, like, shit. I got you. That's a little weird, but <laughs> what is one thing that you like come to learn how to cook? That's your favorite go to. Um, my favorite go to right now is avocado toast. Um, mm, it's it's fact. pretty easy to make, and which is why I I make it so often, and I eat it almost every morning for the last like three weeks. <laughs> um, but yeah, I mean it's kind of it's kind of boring, but yeah. What's sometimes you? like the most simple food is like the go to, like a grilled cheese. Dude, yeah, I make who, a fire ass. Yeah, cheese. dude doesn't yeah. love a freaking good ass yeah. grilled cheese. Like is that even like I've been making a shit ton of carbonara. I can yeah. only have it once a week. <laughs> you that's, how, a shit ton? That, that's how bad it is. Like, yeah. I, I, like, cause I want it all the you time. Limited? But I had to limit myself because oh. that much. I thought yeah. that's what was going in your face. Okay. Uh, no, that's just, uh, <laughs> just kidding, dude. Just, that's just me. Oh my, <laughs> oh my god. Well, it's because I asked that is because I do follow you and I see what you're like, every once in a while. You'll like make some crazy dish that like, you made yeah. away. I mean, you I make mud. Sure. Like, I mean, it, it looks good on you. <laughs> <laughs> it, it, it looks good on picture. Uh, I mean, not like it doesn't taste great all the time. By the way, <laughs> trial and error, of course. But no, there's actually it's kind of funny because I spend a lot of time making it look good for the picture that mm. it gets cold by the time you I eat me. it. You got me. You got me. I'm the opposite. I eat all my food. I'm like, shit, I forgot to take a picture. <laughs> so Whoa, he's first. He cooks with the those hex clad pots and yeah. pans. So, yeah, he know. has that yeah. nice ass. Yeah, dude. Yeah. I like he's he got to know nice. what he's doing. He has that. You know, he has that's nice all. That's, that's shit. Yeah. Uh, they're really that's nice, crazy. but I wouldn't spend that that much, by the way. Yeah. Um, so you don't recommend it? I mean, I recommend it if you have the money for it. I mean, it's kind of okay. fucking expensive. It's expensive. <laughs> it's Kitchen fucking expensive. Nice. Yeah. I love it, though. Every time I go to Costco and I see him, I'm like, yeah, maybe I'll buy it. And then I'm like, nah, I'll walk away. I'm still rocking La Crusade for a lot of stuff. Mm. But it's still good. Yeah, yeah it yeah. works. But I, I want like a Damascus knife, though. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> like, oh, you like, haven't seen my knives, huh? Uh, no. Oh, I actually show, so. show you my. Oh, you need to show me. So, yeah. I love. I, I fucking love that. Yeah, shit. I got some for my birthday. Shout out to emo. Mm. Make oh, sure you stay damn. away from the tree, but got you. <laughs> nice. Um. Well, so obviously I'm not like a chef or anything, but my my general advice if someone's trying to learn how to cook is to understand what ingredient does. Um. Mm. So and and just kind of the different way it works. Uh. So for an example, like garlic, the, the, depending on the way you cook it, different kind of aromas, different flavors come out from that. Like if you were to bake it or to fry it, you know, just understanding how that works and then being able to utilize that to craft your own recipes. Mm. <sighs> Man, understanding how re- that's kind of tight. I'd just yeah. be cooking. I, <laughs> I, I cook a lot too. Uh-huh. I don't know. I don't understand what things do. But I don't know like, what shit does. But I'm like, <laughs> okay. I'm, I'm, I'm going to eat that shit though. What it is is that like, if I like a certain taste, like I do love garlic, right? Yeah. And it's like, mm-hmm. how this garlic is cooked in oil, how this garlic cooked baked or like, you know, mm-hmm. stuff like that. And it's like, okay, now I know what kind of, what I want with that dish. But right? that's how a lot of home cooks like learn how to cook. Cause my mom was the same way. Right. And, I, and I learned that from my mom, just kind of a feel of everything. Yeah. Mm-hmm. But then I like to see it kind of as like the science, like it's literally alchemy. Yeah. Right. Like, exactly. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So I like that you broke it down that way because that means that you can start using food in all sorts of crazy ways. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Which I'm just like, I'm a simple dude, but mm-hmm. I wish I could make like, I don't know, Michelin star stuff, at least just for myself. You yeah. can. Yeah. Yeah. I mean, I, and I, I mean, think if that's it was like, does that all oil to it? I, it's I don't know what to say now because I cook. So <laughs> I guess so. okay. Not everything deserves to be Michelin. Uh-huh. Just so you guys know, like I've had time. I've had things yeah. that are Michelin, and I'm like, I go to that rundown China spot, and like this, mm-hmm. is, you can get the same thing for less. Mm-hmm. And it's true. It's like I've yeah. had what the hell is a Michelin fried rice? You know, it's like how know. do you make that Michelin? But I tried Golden it, and I was like, from where? Uh, this place in New York. But it's like, why and was it? How? how, how is it golden? Tell, tell me the difference. Is there Bro, any difference? Well, I'd rather go eat that greasy freaking pork one. That's so from, it's not greasy and it's no, just it's like cleaner. really clean. It's like it's small, but I'm trying to figure out why it's Michelin. You know, it's because the restaurant behind it, the chef, but uh-huh. also it's like some things don't all need to be Michelin. Right? Yeah, no, mm-hmm. I just want to make one for myself. Yeah, dang, yeah, I need to get it up. Oh, sorry, that was my take. Not everything <laughs> deserves it though, okay, guys. Um, but let's go ahead and get back into it. Um, like I said, we have our chef special. Um, mm-hmm. Just free advice to the viewers, or if you have a recipe that you just 
maybe your avocado toast one that <laughs> get people like boom. You know, I, well, one, I don't, I don't remember the recipes off the top of my head, so I couldn't share that with you because it's kind of, I just kind of yeah. like, feel it out. You know what I mean? Uh-huh. Um, so I, I'm a little bit biased. I'm in real estate, right? So, but I, I think that most people aren't doing what they want in lives. And my general advice is it's going to be really hard to find something that you, you love to do. You know, I, I think that's kind of the, the ultimate truth of that, right? Yeah. Um, and so buy real estate create passive income and over time that passive income will overtake your active income and then you can do whatever the fuck you want. Man. You heard it here first. Hey. hey. Get your money up, stupid. <laughs> <laughs> hey. It's like when you play life, just go straight for the job and just get it right away. <laughs> but no, no I it's, like that. it's I like true that. though. It's, it's true. because yeah. that's the one. Mm-hmm. How do you break the cycle of generational like dependency on money, right? You create mm-hmm. generational wealth mm-hmm. and real estate and like just anything that you can invest in is where you need to kind of be at to mm-hmm. kind of get you to that point. Mm-hmm. All of us here have the same thing in mind. We don't all the world and work nine to five for the rest of our mm-hmm. life. Mm-hmm. And that's Fuck why no, that's why we do a podcast. That's why we make clothes. That's why we do all this passive stuff so we can be creative and have our outlet somewhere else. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Right? Because nine to fives will not give you that chance unless you're in a place where you work through it. You're a doctor or something like that. That's where you get the money. But other than that, you got to figure out what you're passionate about. Take your time on it. And just go at it. Love what you do. Mm-hmm. And not who you do. Hello. <laughs> well, that's wrong. Wait, unless you love them. Wait, wait, wait. No, please. If you're, if you're doing that, please love that person. Because I feel bad if you're doing that and you don't love them. <laughs> that's horrible. It's horrible. That's, some, that's yeah. actually wow. something P would say. And then he'd be like, oh, fuck. <laughs> do as I say, not as I do. Yeah. <laughs> he'd be doing a lot. <laughs> Um, but we'd like to thank you, Brandon, for joining us here on the podcast. Yeah, thank you for it having me. Bullshit with us, man. Yeah, yeah. yeah. thank yeah. you. It was, it's fun though. Like we get it. Like we know you personally in our personal lives, yeah. me and P, yeah. at least. And you know, we see you around, and yeah. you're killing it. Just keep up what you're doing, yeah. and you're man. The fact that 21, you're so young, G. Yeah. you're 21. <laughs> 21 yeah. The only thing we gotta Run take back up. is that golden era hip hop. But we'll teach. <laughs> I will go. And Let <laughs> him have his answer. <laughs> He didn't know what it was. Hey, shit. Okay, you don't know Tupac. <laughs> you know the Duck Mansion. <laughs> bone, 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 bone. Tell but me what you. Make sure you guys follow Brandon. All his stuff will be in the description below. Yep. Make sure you guys check out London Bell. You need make a sure home? you guys. Make sure you guys follow it. You make need sure. a DJ. Let me know. You need him to DJ at your new home. Let me know. <laughs> there you go. Avocado toast. <laughs> Let me know. <laughs> Um, but yeah, thank you for joining us here today. Appreciate yeah, it. Off you. the menu, episode 72. Peace out, y'all. 72. Play excellent. Play beautiful. Play proper, stupid. Uh, 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 buy real estate. Buy real estate from Brandon. <laughs>